Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add BIOS files to your mini system to play some of those harder to run cores. It's a pretty simple process, but remember, if you have any issues with this, you can always go to the Rock in the Classics Discord or subreddit for assistance. A quick recap on how to mod your mini to get this working. First, you go to Kernel, Install Repair, click Yes, plug your mini into your PC, hold Reset, and power on. Once Hashi's been installed, you should see this green dot in the bottom left corner. If you need more detailed instructions, I'll have the full modding video in my description below. The first thing we want to do is make sure that our BIOS files are spelled correctly. These are the files we're working with today. We have our Sega CD files, Famicom Disk System, Game Boy Advance, TurboGrafx-16 CD, PS1, and more and more TurboGrafx-16. If you're using any of these BIOS files, they have to look exactly like this with the correct case and underscores. If you're trying out some Dreamcast stuff, you have to make sure your files are in the folder labeled DC. Within that folder, you have DC underscore boot and flash. For a more detailed list of BIOS files, you can go to the modules tab and the KMFD mod hub. Go to the KMFD BIOS tab and click on RA BIOS master module. If you scroll down here on the right, you can see that KMFD Manic has listed the BIOS files you need for whichever system you're looking for. And once again, make sure they are spelled correctly with the correct case. You'll want to make sure RetroArch is installed before continuing to the next part. So go to the Modules tab, KMFD's Mod Hub, go to the KMFD RetroArch tab, choose your version of RetroArch, click Download Module. Close the Mod Hub, go back into your Modules tab, and install extra modules. Put a check mark next to RetroArc, then click OK. To get these files onto your system, go to the Tools tab, and click Open FTP Client. A new window will pop up with a file system. This is the file system of your Mini. You want to go into ETC, Libretro, and System. This is where you keep your BIOS files. All you have to do is highlight, drag them right into that folder. If for some reason this open FTP client option doesn't work for you, I do have a backup. You can use this program called FileZilla. In the host box, you want to enter these numbers, 169.254.13.37. Username will be root. Password is clover and port is 21. Once you have everything filled out, hit enter. And once again, over on the right, we have the file system on the mini. If we go into ETC, the retro, and system, here's the BIOS files that we just added. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, once again, go to the Rock in the Classic Discord or subreddit to get some help. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.